Hey, I'm Mike Sinisi, executive editor for Make Magazine, and we're here at Maker Faire Bay Area 2018. I'm at the Qualcomm booth. This is one of my favorite sponsors. They bring an uh, incredible booth every year, and uh, this is a, actually a very exciting year because it's the third year of the Dragonboard 410C, which launched here at Maker Faire. Here at Maker Faire in yeah. 2015, so it's really great to be back here again and to be celebrating that anniversary. So tell me, how has the Dragonboard evolved over these last three years? Well, when you think of just the, the expandability of the Dragon Board, it's been wonderful to see the ecosystem of hardware and the add-on shields that have been commercialized. So that's actually something that we're displaying over here is a variety of those boards. One of the beauties of the Dragon Board, it's compliant with that 96boards.org specification. So a very standard specification and lots of ways to expand it. Yeah, very cool. And then also uh, there's... Uh, New, uh, new developer action happening all the time, right? Incredible developer action, very inspiring. Um, we're very proud on developer.qualcom.com that we've got over 80 projects from the community that have been submitted. So not only do you have ingredients to build stuff yourself, you've got a lot of instruction and inspiration that's there online. That's awesome. And speaking of projects, uh, you guys have a lot of cool projects here at your booth. Absolutely. So, uh, Maker Faire, we, we were inspired to play. So, um, this year we've got a booth filled full of games. So, here we've got uh, an actual artificial intelligence game. So, this is a dance game by Tencent, and they took our machine learning and computer vision algorithms to optimize that game and be able to track everything that you're doing on device. So, very, very cool thing that uh, we're showing off there. And uh, of course, on the Dragon Board, we've got our Breaker Ball that is a scratch-based uh, program. So hopefully a lot of the kids coming into the booth will recognize that from their classes, uh, as well as a lovely retro arcade game that uh, is running there. So four-player four contests that we've been hosting here in the booth. That's great. A lot of activities for a lot of uh, people to do different things to you. The flexibility of the, of the board, uh, it's, you know, it's a powerful board and uh, you can do a lot with it. Yeah, you should know. You had to create something with it. Yeah, so uh, actually, uh, I was about two years ago. Uh, we did the uh, the Qualcomm Invent Off, the Why Wait Invent Off together, yeah. uh, which was a super fun experience. I uh, was captain of one of the two teams, yeah. and we, um, my team, we built the uh, the Why Wait system, which was a sort of an IoT based uh, alarm system for uh, for bicyclists and other people that are doing activities uh, if someone falls down uh, and gets hurt there's a there was a, a beacon module on on the helmet that would then transmit to the dragon board and then to your smartphone to alert uh, any of the uh, any of the people that you'd li listed as uh, as your notification uh, people your emergency contacts yeah. uh, so you know it's this IOT safety system for biking and um, I, you know I, I still I'm, I'm super excited about that product that was that was a uh, incredible experience. I'm so glad you had fun with that. And, and that is a perfect example of just taking that ingredient of the Dragon Board and expanding on that to you know, really have a whole end-to-end -end solution. So we've been really inspired by that use case and a lot of others that have come from the community to you know, notifying somebody that has had a heart attack in their home, like a whole home monitoring system came out of another hack. So a yeah. lot of great stories. And we did that in... Um Three days, 24 hours of build time. Uh, you know, I had a good team, Trey and Claire. Uh, you know, we just we worked hard and uh, put something together really quick. But it's crazy to think that was two years ago. You guys have been around for three years now. There's two years of development that you guys have done with the Dragon Board. So I can imagine that there's so much more you can do. Yeah, and, and not just what the community has developed, but it's so exciting to see that translated into real commercial products. So, you know, there's a... a baby monitoring solution with a camera that uses absolutely no sensors, knit health that's out there in the market. So just to see that kind of translation into something that's really useful in your day-to-day -day life is really inspiring in and of itself. So cool. Hey, so you have uh, you've a couple makers that you brought as well. We do, we do. So I'd love to uh, share some of the, the things that they've done. And uh, uh, we have uh, Stephanie and Sara. Let's get Sara over here and check out this robot dress. Um, hey, Sara, come on over here and let's let's see what you've got here. Um, let me squeeze over this way. Excuse me, Anna. And uh, yeah, here. Uh, so this uh, th this is Sara Naderi. 
Uh, and you've built, you call this the ro robot? robot dress. Robot dress. Yeah. And uh, tell everyone, what does this thing do? Well, uh, this robot dress is supposedly supposed to help me become more social. <laughs> How does it do that? It forces people to give me long hugs. Okay. And, um, and really to inspire people to reimagine what engineering can be applied for. Okay. And that you need friends, because I didn't build this alone. I actually had a team of awesome, fabulous engineers and costume designers to help me build it. And it is a collection of various visions under this overarching vision, and it's, it's really, um, really a dream come true. So. so this looks incredible, but I don't see the robot part, obviously. And also, there's a, there's a 410C element in here. I see Dragon Board right here. You can see it, kind of. Yep. And we didn't want to limit our imagination. Yeah. And so I wanted to be able to use a platform that when I wanted to grow more layers of software onto it, I didn't have to change a new platform. And so we used the Dragon Board initially. And I know at this stage, um, you know, it's it's just these it, it, these movements. But again, once we add more layers, that's why we wanted to use that board. Okay, can we get a demo? Yes. Can I give you a robot hug? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, so let's let's take one step back this way, so we can keep this on camera. And then, what's the rules? The rules are: um, you have to wait until I let you come in. Okay. You can't let go of me until the dress lets go of you. I don't know where it's going to land, so I apologize for that in advance if it's something. And. Um, Apparently, actually, because it forces you to give me about a 10 second hug, after six seconds your body chemistry changes. And so it's a therapeutic hug. Oh. Are you ready? I like that. I am ready. Okay, let's do this. Let's hope it works. All right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's working. It is working. Hold on, you can't leave. <laughs> I won't. No, I won't. <laughs> For some people, this is uh, friendly. Yeah, it is therapeutic. Isn't it? Who would have known? I just had a whole moment there. <laughs> so, uh, tell everyone real quick, what what do you do? What's your background? I know we met on the uh, on the invent off, but what's what's your day to day? Uh, well, I'm an engineer. I like to create engineering experiences that help break stereotypes of what engineering can be applied for. And uh, I build maker spaces to get kids excited, safe spaces where people can actually get involved and break things and learn things and and build things, and so um, anything anything that can get people jazzed about engineering and that engineering is a medium to create, that is that is what I love to do. Good. Well, this is fantastic, and I definitely think that you're breaking some barriers with this. This is not the robot dress that I was expecting to see, and I love it. Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. And uh, let's have a Stephanie come on over now, and. Uh, Okay, yeah, I'll switch sides with you here. And uh, okay, so this is a Stephanie, uh, and you've got this incredible light up helmet uh, as well. Tell everyone, what does this thing do? <laughs> well, it lights up <laughs> and it changes colors. I have several modes, about six or seven modes, and I can change it with this little knob thing here. And the main ones are just like rainbow and it shifts. And then, since this is a Daft Punk helmet, it has to work with music. So I have a microphone here and it changes colors with music or my voice as I talk. So let's, let's find that demo. Uh, this other way. <laughs> oh, oh, let me find it here. So I think this is a little bit, uh, it's kind of loud in here, but you can see it going up and down with my voice. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's a lot of fun for parties. Yes, definitely, definitely. And so I made it all from scratch. I've never made a helmet before. And so here we are. I 3D printed everything, Bondo, sand, uh, paper, like sanded it all. So I think it's smoother here, here, touch here. Oh, so that's, yeah, that's, so this is completely custom fabricated. Everything from scratch. It took me a month to make this. And the visor I vacuum formed and I spray painted with the tint and yeah. It's a lot of fun. And then you stuffed a dragon board inside of this as well. Exactly. So I have the dragon board and the, the sensor mezzanine. And that's it. That's all I had to do for the lights. And that was cool because I usually don't know which board to use for like, oh, is it just going to be lights or do I need Wi-Fi or not? And with this one, at least I was like, oh, it doesn't matter. I have all the options. So that was cool. <laughs> yeah. Is it possible to get you to put it on and get a demo? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let me put this microphone away. Oh, it fits good too. I guess it must because you custom made it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, th and then are you able to 
trigger the buttons on the side? No, not yet. <laughs> yeah, right now it's just the knob that I had somewhere here. <laughs> <laughs> this one, and then I can just change it. Ah, there you go. Yeah. So, yeah. I think I can leave it there so it's shifting all the time. Yeah. Great. Well, thanks for making that. Thanks for bringing it here to Maker Fair too. Uh, it's so fun. Thank and you. a great job. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. So, you've got a you've got your own channel, Stephanie Explains It All? That's right. I have my YouTube channel, Stephanie Explains It All, and I do makes like this on put it on YouTube. Yeah, I've seen you do have a, you have a lot of builds on there. Yes, I do. I have a, quite a few. Check it out. Thank Good. you. Good. Definitely. Okay, thanks to Stephanie. So, Anna, uh, I just want to say thanks again for all of your support and uh, you know, you congratulations on 3 years of Dragon Board 410C success. Um, and I uh, can't wait to see what else people are making with this. Me either. That's the beautiful thing. It's having it out there in this community's hands and seeing what comes up. <laughs> uh, have a great Maker Fair, and uh, I'll, I'll be checking in. Okay. All right. Qualcomm, Dragon Ball 410C, announced here at Maker Fair three years ago and uh, just doing great things.